Lead is a heavy metal, and we know that it causes a variety of different health effects. And we also know that lead is a neurotoxicant, which means that it affects the brain, and we know that it may cause different behavioral issues. Studies that looked at the population level have shown that it may be related to criminal behavior. So our study is the first one to summarize all studies that look at individual data, and we found that there may be an increased risk of criminal behavior when someone is exposed to lead either prenatally or when, or when they're very young. So as we know, lead is a neurotoxicant, and it affects the prefrontal cortex, which is involved with decision making and uh, impulse control. And the earlier you get exposed to it, the worse it is. So because of that, we included any study that look at individual data on aggressive behavior, violence, criminal behavior, or antisocial behavior to really understand this relationship. Our study shows that there is a relationship there needs to be more data to be collected and to really understand how strong this relationship is, but that's where the data is pointing us, that it is related and that we need to be paying more attention to this. Well, there are different sources of lead exposure. It can come from dust, it can come from paint, it can come from lead pipes, it can even come from children's toys or ceramics from my country, such as Mexico. In terms of policies, we're not doing a great job. Low and middle income countries are falling behind and lead is still a problem there. We are not doing enough on educating policymakers and the public around the problems of lead exposure at a young age.